There are a number of principles with all Nightingale projects which relate to exemplary sustainability initiatives, fostering community, delivering housing at cost. And so Nightingale helped facilitate and bring the six architect groups together. It was an amazing opportunity for us to all bring different skills and insights to create the diversity. I'm Claire Cousins from Claire Cousins Architects. I'm one of the architects and developers for Nightingale Village. Nightingale Village is located on Wurundjeri Country in Brunswick, which is just north of Melbourne. It's right next to the Upfield train line and Upfield bike path, which are a short trip into Melbourne CBD. The site was originally low-rise 70s brick warehouses. It was a collection of 12 individual titles in which we designed six individual buildings. There are certain design elements that help to foster community within the buildings at Nightingale Village. There are no individual laundries within apartments. Instead, there are rooftop communal laundries where people can come together and share facilities. There are also rooftop gardens, uh, productive gardens. So all of these little elements that go to making apartments feel more spacious internally, but also help bring our residents together. It was really important for us to be engaged with the residents who are going to be moving in and calling Nightingale Village their home. So throughout the design and delivery phase of the project, we met regularly every couple of months with our resident group to keep them informed, to gather feedback and direction on, on how we would deliver the project. My name is Jackie and I'm a Nightingale Evergreen resident. We chose Nightingale Evergreen because we wanted to live a more sustainable lifestyle in a small community and just be able to live on a street with the same like-minded people. So that's pretty incredible to be part of. Living in a space designed by an architect is much better because it's so well considered, the beautiful details throughout the space. You know, in our apartment, our kitchen is so well thought out from the layout to the small handle details and the space works so efficiently. I've got a few favourite things but I think the main one would be the feeling of the space when I come in. Really comfortable, really homely. In terms of aesthetic, one of my favourite things is the circular window in our living room. It kind of feels like you're on a boat. It also has really amazing sunset views from there. I think what Claire's building has done for us has really provided us with a really safe place to call home, a place we get excited to come home to after a hard day of work. And that's a pretty big deal for us. It's exciting to be in this space and experience this space. My name is Maria Yanis and I work at the delivery team and also do a bit of advocacy at Nightingale Housing. It was a bit of a crazy idea at the time. Um, Jeremy McLeod, our founder, saw this opportunity and said, well, why don't we build a whole precinct of Nightingale projects? Brunswick has historically been an industrial area, but we've seen how it has become increasingly attractive to medium housing and most importantly to high quality developments. A very important part of every Nightingale project is that we try and foster community from early stages of the design and construction processes. There's a series of instances where um, residents get together. We hold demolition parties or topping out ceremonies so that residents get to know each other way before moving in. We're really pleased and lucky that our building looks down onto Bullockabec Park. It's such a needed open green space with productive garden, play equipment and relaxation space. Some of the key sustainability initiatives across the village include no gas, fossil fuels are eradicated and all appliances and services are run by electricity. We've got really large solar arrays on the roof to help power the buildings. The apartments are connected to an embedded electricity network which gives residents access to low cost 100% green power. All the windows are thermally broken and lots of water collection for reuse. Nightingale Evergreen, I think really was a nod to the building colour, but also our aspirations for the vegetation and landscape designed by Eckersley Garden Architecture. Uh, that we really see that becomes a live growing element of the building and that hopefully the building will be evergreen for many years to come. I think what I'm most proud of is how much evergreen residents love their new home. People are so delighted to be living here, which is really makes all the hard work worth it. For us, this project really has been about designing for people, not profit. We're really excited that these homes will be people's forever homes for a long time and for many years to come. 
We really love this space and we can't wait to continue to live here and experience the building and get to know the rest of the community of Nightingale.